everyone, it's Hannah on Face Good Works. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I know it has been a little while since I've done a video, but recently I have started college, so I've been super busy studying and doing all that stuff. I'm sure some of you know how that feels, so I hope you guys enjoy my tutorial on how to take dip powder off and also my review on the QR Sky dip powder system. First things first, we have to take off the dip powder. So this is my previous set of the dip powder acrylic. I'm going to use some scissors to cut some cotton rounds. I love these so much better than cotton balls because cotton balls constantly have these disgusting fuzzies that get stuck in your nails and it's so annoying. So I love cotton rounds. They're super thin too and not so thick. So they fit right into my nail clips. So I cut eight triangles because my ring finger has just normal nail polish on it so that'll be super quick and easy to take that off. I don't have to do a whole process using the clip. What I do is I just use the sander and buffer and I buff the top coat off of my nail so that it's a lot easier for the acetone to penetrate the acrylic. So I'm just going to sand on my fingers except for my ring finger where that would be kind of, ooh that would be. That would be very bad on my nail. Once I have sanded all my nails, I get one of these clips and I'm going to put one of those triangles in there. So what I use is this little bottle. I just got this from the dollar store, super quick, super easy, and I love it so much. It has not broken and I've had it for a long time. You just get one of these squares, fill that bottle with acetone, push down on the top and some of the acetone comes out and it's super easy and fast for you to get that on there without spilling anything. Then you completely cover your nail with the cotton and get your nail clip and clip it on there. These are super easy and super cheap. You can just get them on Wish or Amazon. You don't have to have anything super fancy. So I just leave this on my nails for about 20 minutes. While that is on there, I will get just a normal cotton round, fill it with acetone and wipe that over my nail, get that off super quickly. And then after 20 minutes has passed, I'm going to take off the clips, unpeel the cotton round from my nail, which it sticks to it pretty good. And I'm gonna use the opposite side of my cuticle pusher to try to scrape off some of that acrylic. And as you see, I didn't really let it sit that long. So I got my nail file and I filed off a lot of that gooey, soft acrylic from the acetone and that seemed to really work. So here are my finished filed nails. All the gooeyness is off and it's now at the hard part that it didn't fully get to. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut eight more pieces that are fresh and soak them in acetone and clip those clips right back on it. Wait for another 20 to 30 minutes so that they're nice and clean. After doing that a couple times, they came out nice and clean. I was very happy I finally got this done. I would not recommend dipping your fingers in powder for three layers because I think that was an issue for this taking so long to come off. Two layers is thick enough, oh my goodness. These are my nail scissors and I'm just going to cut my nails because I hate my nails really long. These already are like way too long, I can't stand it so I'm just cutting them to my desired length and then I'm going to get this hand file and I'm going to file my nails only in one direction. If you go back and forth with your file, it'll make the fibers in your nails cross and make it, your nails look all scraggly and stuff. Now I'm going to get the lightest grit I could possibly find to file over my natural nail, just to kind of rough them up a little to buff the shine away so that it adheres better to the acrylic and they don't end up lifting. Here is my nail cuticle pusher, and with this I'm going to push back my cuticles, and with the other end I'm going to scrape away some of the cuticles and the dead skin around my nails to make them nice and clean also so that they will not 
lift the nails which is very annoying because I do not like getting my hair cut under my nail oh my goodness that does not feel good <laughs> Now we are getting on to the Kirage Sky review section. First, I'm starting off with number one, the Bond. And this just dehydrates all your nails. So they're nice and dry. Don't have all these oils underneath your nails, which also calls for lifting, which we do not want, and it causes pain. Next, we're going to start out with the base, which is number two, which is what adheres to the acrylic. The color I'm using is Son of a Peach, which I'm not really fond of that name, but I really love the color. It's a beautiful orange that was a little bit brighter than I expected, but I still really liked it. So what I'm doing is just applying the base, just a hairline for my cuticle to kind of give it a nice shape. Dipping it into the powder, then going on to my next nail, doing the same thing. Once I finish dipping the first layer of dip powder, I'm going to brush my nails off with the blush brush to dust the excess dip powder off my nails so that they're nice and clean for my next layer. So with this, I'm just going to use my base again and go all over my whole nail, not leaving that little open space and making sure I do not get it on the skin or it's going to be a huge ordeal just to get it off that. One of the things I really like about this Kiara Sky dip powder system is that it's very opaque. With some of my other dip powders, when I do the hairline and then I do my second coat, it would be really sheer. But this one is very opaque and I really am happy with that. Now, moving right along, we are going to go into the clear Kiara Sky dip powder. And this is exactly like top coat, but for dip powder. So you're going to do the same thing you've been doing for your color. Add your base, dip it into the clear powder, and the difference between color and this clear powder is that this clear powder is super light and it hardly adds any thickness to your nail. So I'd really highly recommend this. It adds a lot more longevity to your manicure. Now moving on to the third step, which is Seal Protect. All this does is harden your nails so that you can buff, file, and shape all your nails. If you do not do this step, the dip powder on your nails will start to gradually fall off your nail. <laughs> Once your nails have hardened, you will hear the sound. Once your nails have hardened, we can move on to the filing block. So all we're going to do is just get the roughest part on your block and start filing your nail to where it's nice and smooth and not all grainy from the dip powder. So what I like to do is I use the roughest side first and go over all my nails. Then I get the little lighter grit side and go over it so it's a little bit more smoother and not so rough. Now I'm getting 100% alcohol, putting it on a paper towel. People use lint-free wipes but paper towels work perfectly fine and everybody has them. So just get a paper towel, put some alcohol in it, wipe over your nails to get all that nail dust and excess dip powder cleaned off the nail. Now we're just going to go over all the nails again with Seal Protect just to make sure that they're extra hard and they'll last even longer. Then I'm just going to get the alcohol, put it on my paper towel again, and wipe over all my fingers to get any of that extra Seal Protect off which might make my top coat kind of matte and not as glossy which I love my nails glossy so definitely doing this step. Now for the fourth and final step, it is the number four top coat. The first coat it says is going to be kind of matte because it dries the fastest, so they always recommend two coats. Second coat is to make it nice and glossy and beautiful. It's my favorite part and it's just so satisfying.
Now to give yourself that professional look, I like to use lotion. This is my favorite lotion. It's like a vanilla scent and it has some shea butter in it. It's just, it just feels so nice. I just got this from Bath and Body Works. And so I just put it on the top of my hand, rubbed it down my fingers and along my cuticle area to kind of rub in and try to get some of that dead skin away and make my nails look all nice and shiny and healthy. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really hope you guys found it helpful to know how to remove dip powder at home. And also I hope you guys liked the tutorial on the Kiara Sky dip powder system. I have been wanting this dip powder system for so long. Kiara Sky is such a good brand. I really like all of her colors. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. Please subscribe to my channel. I really, really appreciate that. And don't forget to ring the bell to get notified when more of my videos come out. My Snapchat is GeorgiaPiano underscore girl. And also my Instagram is GeorgiaPiano underscore girl. Go follow me there. I do some super cute little videos and sometimes I do behind the scenes footage of me making these videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. God bless. <laughs>